Ever wondered about your body and how it talks to you? What if it had a way of telling you when things aren't quite right? Picture this, your body giving you signals to pay attention and take better care of yourself. Have you ever thought about the messages your body might be sending? Come along on a journey of questions, what happens when your body shows signs that something might be off? Are you ready to find out the answers and explore a journey of understanding your own body? Let's unravel the mystery of staying healthy, are you excited to join in? Hardworking call center manager, began feeling a bit strange one day. She noticed an awkward swelling in the front of her neck, and it didn't take long for her to start feeling like something was off. The discomfort grew, making it difficult for her to swallow or breathe properly. On top of that, her voice became hoarse, and neck pain added to her worries. Concerned about these unusual symptoms, Sophia decided it was time to see her local doctor, known as a general practitioner, GP. The GP, after carefully examining Sophia, felt it was best to send her to a specialist called an endocrinologist. This expert deals with issues related to glands and hormones, including the thyroid. Anxious and terrified, Sophia went for a series of investigations with the endocrinologist. The expert used tests like blood work, biopsies, and scans to understand what was happening with Sophia's thyroid. After the thorough examination, the endocrinologist sat down with Sophia to discuss the findings. The endocrinologist explained that she had thyroid cancer. While the word cancer can be terrifying, the endocrinologist reassured Sophia that thyroid cancer is often highly treatable, and many people recover well. The expert addressed Sophia's fears, patiently explaining the types of thyroid cancer she had and the available treatment options. Thyroid cancer develops in your thyroid, a small, butterfly-shaped gland at the base of your neck. This gland produces hormones that regulate your metabolism, how your body uses energy. Thyroid hormones also help control your body temperature, blood pressure, and heart rate. Thyroid cancer, a type of endocrine cancer, is generally highly treatable, with an excellent cure rate. Healthcare providers classify thyroid cancer based on the type of cells from which the cancer grows. Types of thyroid cancer include, papillary, up to 80% of all thyroid cancers are papillary, most common thyroid cancer, this cancer type grows slowly. Although papillary thyroid cancer often spreads to lymph nodes in your neck, the disease responds very well to treatment. Papillary thyroid cancer is highly curable and rarely fatal. Follicular, follicular thyroid cancer accounts for up to 15% of thyroid cancer diagnoses. This cancer is more likely to spread to your bones and organs, like your lungs. Metastatic cancer, cancer that spreads, may be more challenging to treat. Metallary, about 2% of thyroid cancers are metallary. A quarter of people with metallary thyroid cancer have a family history of the disease. A faulty gene, genetic mutation, may be to blame. Anaplastic, this aggressive thyroid cancer is the hardest type to treat. It can grow quickly and often spreads into surrounding tissue and other parts of your body. This rare cancer type accounts for about 2% of thyroid cancer diagnoses. Healthcare providers use a staging system to determine if and how far thyroid cancer has spread. Generally, when cancer cells in your thyroid metastasize, they spread to your nearby structures and lymph nodes first. After that, the cancer can spread to distant lymph nodes, organs, and bones. Thyroid cancer stages range from 1, I, to 4, 4. In simple terms, the higher the number, the more the cancer has spread. You or your healthcare provider might feel a lump or growth in your neck called a thyroid nodule. Don't panic if you have a thyroid nodule. Most nodules are benign, not cancer. Only about 3 out of 20 thyroid nodules turn out to be cancerous, malignant. Other thyroid cancer symptoms include difficulty breathing or swallowing, loss of voice, hoarseness, swollen lymph nodes in your neck. If you have thyroid cancer that has spread, metastasized, to other areas of your body, you may experience symptoms such as tiredness, loss of appetite, nausea and vomiting, unexpected weight loss. Experts aren't sure why some cells become cancerous, malignant, and attack your thyroid. 
Certain factors, such as radiation exposure, a diet low in iodine and faulty genes can increase risk. Other risk factors include enlarged thyroid, goiter, family history of thyroid disease or thyroid cancer, thyroiditis, inflammation of your thyroid gland, gene mutations, changes that cause endocrine diseases, such as multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2A, MEN 2A, or type 2B, MEN 2B, syndrome, low iodine intake, obesity, radiation therapy for head and neck cancer, especially during childhood, exposure to radioactive fallout from nuclear weapons or a power plant accident. If you have an enlarged thyroid nodule or other signs of thyroid cancer, your healthcare provider may order one or more of these tests. Blood tests. A thyroid blood test checks hormone levels and gauges whether your thyroid is functioning properly. Biopsy. During a fine needle aspiration biopsy, your healthcare provider removes cells from your thyroid to test for cancer cells. A sentinel node biopsy can determine if cancer cells have spread to lymph nodes. Your provider may use ultrasound technology to guide these biopsy procedures. Radioiodine scan. This test can detect thyroid cancer and determine if cancer has spread. You swallow a pill containing a safe amount of radioactive iodine, radioiodine. Over a few hours, your thyroid gland absorbs the iodine. Your healthcare provider uses a special device to measure the amount of radiation in the gland. Areas with less radioactivity need more testing to confirm the presence of cancer. Imaging scans, radioactive iodine scan, computed tomography, CT, and positron emission tomography, PET, scans can detect thyroid cancer and cancer spread. Treatments for thyroid cancer depend on the tumor size and whether the cancer has spread. Treatments include, surgery, surgery is the most common treatment for thyroid cancer. Depending on the tumor's size and location, a surgeon may remove part of your thyroid gland, lobectomy, or all of the gland, thyroidectomy. The surgeon also removes any nearby lymph nodes where cancer cells have spread. Radioiodine therapy. With radioiodine therapy, you swallow a pill or liquid containing a higher dose of radioactive iodine than what's used in a diagnostic radioiodine scan. The radioiodine shrinks and destroys the diseased thyroid gland along with cancer cells. This treatment is very safe. Your thyroid gland absorbs almost all of the radioiodine and the rest of your body has minimal radiation exposure. Radiation therapy, radiation kills cancer cells and stops them from growing. External radiation therapy uses a machine to deliver strong beams of energy directly to the tumor site. Internal radiation therapy, brachytherapy, involves placing radioactive seeds in or around the tumor. Chemotherapy, intravenous or oral chemotherapy drugs kill cancer cells and stop cancer growth. Very few people diagnosed with thyroid cancer will ever need chemotherapy. Hormone therapy, this treatment blocks the release of hormones that can cause cancer to spread or come back. Thyroid cancer can spread, metastasize, to other parts of your body, such as your liver, lungs, or bones. Detecting and treating thyroid cancer in the early stages reduces your risk for metastasis. Thyroid cancer can recur, come back, even after treatment. Because thyroid cancer grows slowly, it could take up to 20 years to come back. Recurrence happens in up to 30% of thyroid cancer cases. Overall, thyroid cancer prognosis, outlook, is positive. But it's important to know that after thyroid surgery or treatments, your body still needs thyroid hormones to function. You'll need thyroid replacement hormone therapy for life. Synthetic thyroid hormones take over for the thyroid hormones that your body no longer naturally produces. Thyroid cancer is the second most common cancer diagnosed in people who are pregnant, breast cancer is first. Approximately 10% of thyroid cancers develop during pregnancy or within the first year after childbirth. Experts believe fluctuating hormone levels during pregnancy may trigger the cancer. Depending on the cancer type and severity, your provider may recommend delaying treatment until after you deliver your baby. If treatment can't wait, most people can safely undergo surgery to remove the cancerous gland. You shouldn't have radioactive diagnostic tests or treatments when you're pregnant or breastfeeding.
recovery depends on several factors, including your age, the size, and stage of your thyroid tumor, and what type of treatment you received. Doctor, can I prevent thyroid cancer? Many people develop thyroid cancer for no known reason, so prevention isn't really possible. But if you know you're at risk for thyroid cancer, you may be able to take these steps. Preventive, prophylactic, surgery, genetic tests can determine if you carry an altered gene, a mutation, that increases your risk for medullary thyroid cancer or multiple endocrine neoplasia. If you have the faulty gene, you may opt to have preventive, prophylactic, surgery to remove your thyroid gland before cancer develops. Doctor, what's the thyroid cancer survival rate? 8 out of 10 people who have thyroid cancer develop the papillary type. Papillary thyroid cancer has a 5-year survival rate of almost 100% when the cancer is in their gland, localized. Even when the cancer spreads, metastasizes, the survival rate is close to 80%. This rate means that, on average, you're about 80% as likely to live for at least 5 years after diagnosis as someone who doesn't have metastatic papillary thyroid cancer. 5-year survival rates for other thyroid cancer types include, follicular, close to 100% for localized, around 63% for metastasized. Medullary, close to 100% for localized, around 40% for metastasized. Anaplastic, close to 31% for localized, 4% for metastasized. Doctor, is thyroid cancer curable? Yes, most thyroid cancers are curable with treatment, especially if the cancer cells haven't spread to distant parts of your body. Sophia's journey through the challenges of thyroid cancer highlights the strength that comes from seeking help and facing uncertainties with the support of dedicated healthcare professionals. While the word cancer initially struck fear in Sophia's heart, the expertise and reassurance provided by her endocrinologist became a guiding light in her path to recovery. Sophia's story reminds us all that early detection and proactive medical care are crucial when facing health concerns. Her resilience, coupled with the compassionate guidance of her healthcare team, showcases the positive impact that knowledge and support can have on one's health journey. If you or someone you know is experiencing unusual symptoms or facing a health challenge, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Regular checkups and open communication with healthcare providers play a vital role in overcoming health obstacles. To stay informed about health-related topics and empower yourself with knowledge, consider subscribing to reputable health publications or joining online communities. The journey to well-being is a collective effort, and staying connected with reliable sources ensures that you are equipped with the information needed to make informed decisions about your health. Sophia's story doesn't end with a diagnosis, it evolves into a narrative of resilience, hope, and the importance of taking charge of one's health. Subscribe to health resources, embrace the support around you, and remember that, with the right guidance, even the toughest journeys can lead to recovery and a brighter future.